you're listening in to a little discussion about lead screws and ball screws. So what I've got in front of me here is a selection of some standard items that uh, are available, different types of lead screws and ball screws, and also some different elements that you might use alongside those uh, screws to make the whole system work. Um, most of the things, in fact all the things that I'm referring to are in the Automotion Linear Motion Handbook. It's about 800 pages, 900 pages. If you don't really want it in the paper copy, it's quite nice sometimes to actually be able to uh, flip through it and get some ideas from it. Then also all the uh, pages there are on the website in PDF form and most of these parts are also modelled in CAD format as well. So what we're going to do first of all is to take a look at uh, some lead screws and some ball screws that I've got with me. So here we've got uh, a basic commercial lead screw here. This is about a 60mm diameter one. Uh, this is a more advanced precision lead screw with a very fine pitch. And then here we've got uh, a ball screw. So just to give you uh, an idea about the difference between the two, or three, the basic commercial lead screw is pretty inexpensive, used for standard commercial applications. Um, they come in steel and also in 316L stainless steel, so that, that they're actually uh, very popular, but for what I call more basic use. Um, then you've also got something called a ball screw, so this is a, a large example. So let me just show you the difference between a lead screw and a ball screw. So this is the lead screw, and basically what the lead means is for every revolution, for every time that I turn this nut 360 degrees, the lead refers to how far this nut will move. So typically there are twin starts and single starts, the most popular being single starts. Typically on a 60 mil diameter, uh, a single start will have a, a lead of 4 mil, so one revolution is moved at 4 mil, and on a twin start it will move at 8 mil. Um, but the, the thing about this is they're good for commercial applications, but what you're going to have here is a, a degree of backlash if you have a look at this nut. Okay, it's a good, it's a bronze nut, but you can hear the difference. So that thing is actually moving on the lead screw because it, it, it's made commercially. It's still, for the majority of applications, it's got a nice movement, there's nothing wrong with that. And obviously, because it's actually material against material, that is going to have a higher degree of friction. If you look at something like this, which is uh, a ball screw, if I shake this nut, it's not going anywhere. And the difference between this is, and, and the reason why this is called a ball screw, is that in this unit here, there are lots of different ball bearings, and those ball bearings are rotating in a, in a circuit there, and they're actually making it <coughs> move very smoothly. So that's going to have, so this is for more precise applications, it's probably about well, the order of five or six times more expensive than the, the commercial lead screws. So with commercial lead screws, uh, standard material will be steel or stainless and the, the reason that people use bronze nuts so much is because the uh, material, you don't want to, to run stainless steel on stainless or steel on steel so you tend to run a softer metal and that will allow, that will prevent the whole thing seizing up. So that's a, a classic um, cylindrical nut but sometimes it's actually difficult to actually mount things to that so for example you might have to have a collar around that or, and drill some holes in it so quite often people also use these flange bronze nuts so a flange you can see that there for example and that is that going on so I mean that's just to give you an idea so that's a 60 mil this this chap here probably it's a stainless unit it's probably about 30 diameter, so anything from about 8 mil diameter up to about 120 mil diameter, anything from, and basically we can cut these to whatever lengths, but typically they're in 1 to 3 meter lengths, can also be provided in 6 meter lengths. Um, what you've got here as well is a, a cross between the two, so this is not very precise, this is pretty precise, quite expensive, this is, this is actually less expensive but it's still quite precise it's got a very very fine pitch probably about a millimeter so for every revolution this unit here is going to move uh, a millimeter as you rotate it in stainless not as popular as, as these two